Death is no extinction, stranger, but only a new beginning. To the dead king we cry, Oh ho, raise yourself, O king. Throw off the earth from your flesh. The power of the king's divine presence, what we call his Ba, mounts like a bird to the skies, and there rejoins his life force, his Ka. The doors of the sky are open to him. He sails in the sun's celestial boat. His ascent is like the primal emergence of the sun from the eternal waters. Our pyramids embody this ascent. They are a colossal staircase on which the king climbs to the stars. Only a genius could have imagined and built such a mountain in stone. This genius was Imhotep, who served King Djoser, the first great ruler of the Old Kingdom. Imhotep was many things, a magician and astronomer, a scribe, physician, and vizier. But above all, he was the architect who planned and built the first of the Great Pyramids, the mighty Step Pyramid for his king at Saqqara. Imhotep began with a mastaba, a low building with sloping sides that had served as tomb for earlier kings. He placed a second mastaba on the first, and another, and another. As the pyramid grew, so too did Imhotep's conception. Once four steps had been built, he asked, why not six? And so, the pyramid rose up until it towered over Saqqara with its six mighty stairs. Imhotep had it built completely in stone to endure forever. And when it was finished, the stone gleamed white and brilliant in the sun. He surrounded it with stately courts and buildings splendid to look upon. This small city in stone was a model of Djoser's royal palace so that he might continue to live like a king in the afterlife. Imhotep embellished it with columns carved like the papyrus or the lotus and filled it with mighty statues of Djoser, blue-glazed tiles, and exquisite vases of alabaster, quartz, crystal, and serpentine. No one before Imhotep had ever built a monument completely in stone and none has ever surpassed him in the grandeur of his conception. Once Imhotep had achieved it, others could admire his vision and build yet other pyramids for later kings. Imhotep's creation of the pyramid is like Atum's first emergence into light, the first appearance of what had never before been seen. We worship him as a god for his accomplishments. To create excellence, as Imhotep did, that is eternity.